Hey there, my lovely listeners. It is your host here. Once again, it is Team Rai Rai. Listeners, anyone out there on social media had a chance to listen to the podcast from earlier today? If not, tap that bell. You definitely will get a notification. If not, there's always a plan B. The plan B is follow me on Twitter. My Twitter name is Team Rai Rai 32 because I post my videos very rarely. I post my podcast more often so please check it out or if you don't go through that hassle hit that subscribe leave a positive comment on the article and positive comment on the article right now now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news wrestling topics and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you so sit back relax be your feet up grab something to eat grab something to drink now if you want to do nothing like that that's fine and dandy maybe you want to try this maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions in a certain manner and once again the article will be down below let's freaking roll this now this past Friday was WWE crown jewel now there was rumors at the time that they were gonna cancel this event move it to out of the original location to United States in New York City of course those are rumors and never happened so when W decided to leave it in the original location a lot of you out there were very very upset I understand probably the Another reason, my theory is, it's all about the money, and they 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 pay McMahon and company a lot of money, and I don't know if if they move move it at the last minute, will people from out out of the United States will attend the event? I don't know. Who gives a crap, right? But anyway, um, really quickly. Couple months ago or weeks, whenever they announced this um, crown jewel, they had this tournament called um, "Whoever wins the tournament get a nice, awesome trophy, and they will be the best in the world." And I said to myself, "Hmm, there's only one Pacific wrestler under that awesome name." In the catchphrase, it is CM Punk. Okay, best in the world. Still sucks that he walked out back in what 2014 any kind of event they still chant his name I understand that it's so freaking old but people out there still says what 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 you know awesome catchphrase so this is a new catchphrase about the CM Punk chance CM Punk screwed himself yes I understand why he did it he was very frustrating with Dewey. He was very mad with Triple H, Vince, and etc. And that's why he's not with Dewey right now. And he walked out. He's doing other things. He's on bad terms with Dewey. All that blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. Spoiler alert. For some freaking reason, this kind of really irritated me. Out of the blue, Shane O'Mac was part of this World Cup. I don't know how this happened. I didn't know, watch this whole entire thing. Actually, I didn't watch all of it. I totally forgot. But he won it. And now he calls himself best in the world. This is so stupid of the W. Very, very lazy booking. Now, I know he does some crazy stuff. Now, in your opinion, is he the best in the world? Absolutely not. This is so stupid of the WWE. I wonder how CM Punk... Feels. Does he give a crap? Not give a crap? Probably overall he don't give a crap. But anyway, I want to discuss this really quickly. Probably you know already, but I want to give my thoughts on the matter on this article. Okay, thanks to his World Cup victory, Shannon Max, spoiler if you know or don't know, but I'm going to tell you anyway, um, can happily decline himself the best in the world because he won the tournament and get the cup the heel turn is rumored to be McMahon's future but but it is possible that all this is part of a plan that involves CM Punk finally returning to WWE that'd be great but 
highly unlikely. He's very bitter with W, and he never got his WrestleMania main event. This guy really deserves it. Okay, you guys could check it out. We have not seen CM Punk since 2014. It seemed like forever. I know a lot of you are very, very tired of him. The CM Punk chance, especially when it comes to Chicago or any of the events, you know, especially if it's boring raw or a boring pay per view overall. This guy blowing his opportunity to main event WrestleMania or probably W just said, Forget you, Punk. You, you had a bad attitude and he just walked out. So I think I know a lot of you think it's never gonna happen. I think W is gonna try him his best to bring him back, you know. If it happens, that's great. If it doesn't, so be it, you know. This guy, you know, I don't know if anyone met him in real life, but he looked like he's a very bitter um, person. I know he's trying to do that martial arts stuff, MMA. He's not, he's not Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is a beast. He's very successful. Is CM Punk successful in another thing besides wrestling? Absolutely not. So, I think eventually he will come back to WWE. I know a lot of you are going to say, it's not going to happen. Hey, I'll give you an example. Hulk Hogan recently came back to the company. He made a shocking appearance at um, Crown Jewel. We all know that because the internet ruins it. So, he was the host. Okay, I discussed that earlier today. Spoiler if you want to listen to that. So... I think this will be a very, very good storyline, you know. And a couple of weeks ago, before Crown Jewel, they even, um, Shane O'Mac even shut up the crowd about CM Punk's chant. So, we'll see, you know. I don't think it's going to happen. It's a long shot. No way in hell. Shane O'Mac wants to piss off the crowd. Because I, it looked like from this article that W is going to make Shane Mac heal. Now, do we really need the McMahons on TV? This is not the Attitude Era. This is not the Russian Aggression Era. Come on. I know W is so freaking desperate for viewership. And that is pathetic. I know this is Savarashri's season. And... I don't know, just, it just irritates me, you know, just whatever. And then now, after Salvarsheries, I guess McMahon will be on TV more often until, my guess, until after WrestleMania. I know it's a long way, but that's just my theory. You know, maybe McMahon, Shane O'Mac will come and go, you know. I mean, I don't mind Shane O'Mac, but... I mean that be that was often that was awesome not to see him so many months. So I guess he had personal reasons or maybe took a long vacation. But anyway, do you think we like to see CM Punk versus Shane O'Mac in W if it if McMahon and the company offer him a lot of money. If it did happen, I guarantee you Shane O'Mac and CM Punk might happen, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Hell no. CM McMahon could offer CM Punk a lot of money. They could offer him a freaking WrestleMania main event. And CM Punk will still turn it down. You know? WWE, me and Vince, and CM Punk need to be on the same page if this does ever happen. But it ain't gonna happen. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up here. I want some positive feedback on the article. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit the subscribe. You know the routine. Have a good one. And this is your lovely host here, Team Ray. Ciao.